boy, boy. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another exciting episode of Angus X Pay. Today is Father's Day. And guess what? If you guys hadn't noticed yet or not, I have children. I I have seed. I have seed that has sprouted to life. And that's weird to say. <laughs> but I got some pretty cool Father's Day gifts. I've got a nice little painting right here from my family. Truly amazing. This melts my heart. It says a son's first hero and a daughter's first love. Good job, Days. Go. I got a picture pa pa uh, drawn for me. It's two bones and a and a and a ball. You know, the the circle of life. <laughs> and then I got this awesome ass heart. And all stuff. It's not complete yet, but look. Just look at it. Just look at it. It's freaking amazing. I want more. And my amazing daughters had made me a Michael Jackson biography. <laughs> no, it's actually just a diary that she made a story about me. <laughs> but what's really cool, too, is that my wife, my wonderful wife, had gone to this website. I don't know what website it was. It's on the back. I, but I bet, okay. HoorayHeroes.com. Uh, we'll put a link in the description in case you want to make a customized this for your fathers or husbands or whatever. This is not sponsored. This is not sponsored, of course. But if you guys want to sponsor Angus XP, I'll mention you in every video. Oh. Emails in the description. <laughs> anyway, so we'll go ahead and get started. This will be our very first first let's read so <clears throat> i will go ahead and say though forewarning i may end up tearing up crying just be, be, be. but yeah i'll try to compose myself because i'm a man <laughs> normalized men cry anyway it's called annabelle daisy jackson daddy always daddy will always love you i Misplacement of words. So it says right here from the very beginning. It says, We are trying to imagine how you felt that day when we made our appearance into the world with our itsy bitsy fingers tightly curled. Someday we'd have to think of the per a perfect way to tell you how important you are to us. So here it goes. We love you, Daddy. And thus begins our tale. <clears throat> anyway, I'm not that slender, guys. I'm just letting you know. I'm pretty bulky. Anyway, once upon a time, well, not so long ago, there lived a cool a guy called Angus <laughs> Christopher. My name is Chris, a real name is Christopher, guys. Awesome name, I know. I never thought he'd have adventures like the ones that we now see. But luckily, Annabelle, Daisy, and Jackson came along and made a daddy out of me. Okay, so I first read this part. Zoom out and look at me. Zoom out and look at me. <laughs> the first part that I had seen, I had actually read from here to here, and I started tearing, I started, you know, getting the emotions and all that stuff so much that I started feeling no, like, sensitivity in my nose like I was smelling onions is like oh ah, ah. what's happening all right back to the story and daddy knows adventure from the break of the day blah, blah, the from the break of day till each good night kiss there's not a moment you there's not a moment you three miss sorry if I stumble upon my words to climb and jump or laugh and run and pull me into all your fun. We have some falls, that's for sure, and days that fly, days that fly by in a blur. But keep it coming. What's still in store besides, well, hopefully. 
Kids, not so little anymore. You grow up so fast, but I don't mind, since Daddy is never far behind. Man, these some thick pages. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Alright, hopefully I can hold these. Pages ready. Snuggled close. Readers giddy for a dose. A story time, though eager minds, may read between the lines. Once upon a dragon's here, Annabelle will save us. Have no fear. There was That was close. Now what if I, Daisy, found a plane to fly? Let's escape. I know a place. Jackson is taking us to space. We can find a distant planet. Daddy, we already landed. You... We meet a monster, our new best friend. Take him home, and then the end. Pages read, sofa empty, story led heroically. By readers who I slowly see need less and less and less of me. By your tales, top the best ones written. So daddy is all glad to listen. Okay, where did I go? I got, I, 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 I have vertigo. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Sit down. Ah! Sit down! All right. Come one, come all, and clap those hands for the show of shows, the band of bands. On the ukulele, make some noise for Annabelle's crazy hand-picked joys. Next, laying down that bongo beat. Give it up for Daisy, bring in the heat. Finally, our little shake machine. Let's hear it for Jackson on the tambourine. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> the tempo grows, your volume rises. In sync, you sing and harmonize. A melody you improvise. A rainbow as rainbow race big for your eyes. Mm -hmm. I think I had a stroke. No. Anyway. Your match you match your skill with tons of heart and dominate the daddy chart. With tunes that make my spirit soar and always earn a loud encore. I love it. That's a ukulele. Her size, that's like a ginormous country. Like a Kenny Chesney freaking guitar. Oh boy, they're cooking up something. <laughs> it's Breaking Bad kid style. It's official. There's nothing finer than waking to find my own private diner. Sit down and eat, Daddy. Greets Daisy of over the clatter. I hope you're hungry. We made three bowls of batter. Like a hot knife through butter, Jackson whips pancakes up. Then Annabelle tops them up, tops them with syrup, and pours juice in my cup. It's a breakfast of champions, though I should have guessed. This was my kitchen first, and you learned from the best. Seeing you three happily cooking away. I'll always let meals like this last the whole day. Man, I am struggling through this story. <laughs> you whisk, grill, and flip. Why can't you do? What can't, what can't you do? Don't worry, Daddy. We'll leave the dishes for you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's a great idea, Buckles. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> this next one is accurate. <laughs> Freaking Daisy's holding her hair. <laughs> holding her ears shut. Annabelle looks annoyed and Jack's all like, Let's play! <laughs> That's accurate. <laughs> Alright, back to the story. Greetings, gamers. I'm Daddy. I'll be your referee. In this last latest installment of Sibling Rivalry. 
It's the Oh No, They're Bored game where whatever you play, feeling disobey rule, feelings disobey rules and fighting's not far away. Before the die is even cast, I hear an outburst. Daisy, that's my favorite piece, but it was mine first. My favorite first. Then the tears fairly dried. And three, and you three, gamely competing. Annabelle calls back, calls me back to the scene, with Jackson. Stop cheating. I'll always give you a speech about why you're the best friends, but Daddy, not right now, is how you the your arguing ends. You toughen each other up, and more and more I can see, you're teaming up for the biggest leagues. And almost taking down me. Yep. Someday you guys will take on the title of champion, but not today. Oh, that's adorable. I've read you books, dimmed the light. Dimmed the light. Tucked you in and said goodnight. You rub your eyes and between yawns. Say you'll sleep till morning dawns. Then... Tell tell tip tell tale tiptoes top the floors uh, and shadow snake past squeaky doors before the sound of whispers whispered fun tells daddy that your day is not done. Jackson's bed sheets are the screams What? For Annabelle's shadows puppet scenes huh. Till pillow fights cut the action Soon, when you help Daisy build a fort. Or maybe not. Because when I peek through the door, I only see one thing for sure. Three snoozing kids who always seem to make real life feel like a dream. Oh. Of course they break my stuff. <laughs> Rattling dishes precede a stampede. As you zoom to the kitchen, picking up speed. I beg and plead, Daisy, take this race to your room. Jackson, I'm trying to clean you. Annabelle, something could... Boom! I heard myself on the monitor. <laughs> Detective Daddy arrives at the scene of the crime to question the witnesses one at a time. We weren't near that mug. We left it alone. Maybe, Daddy, just maybe. It fell on its own. <clears throat> How could you cover each other is quite a sight. How you cover each other is quite a sight. But lies are lies, no matter how white. So let's have the truth. I'm on your side, too. And always prefer the true story of you. On one warm summer days, from the shade of a tree, comes tw the tw tinkling of spoons and the sweet smell of tea. As I secretly watch, I can't help but delight in your mood and manners so kind and polite. Jackson, could you please pour me some more? My pleasure, Daisy. That's what I'm here for. Annabelle, cupcakes have never been better than these. Why, thank you, and Daddy's rumbling tummy agrees. All eyes turn me to me as you burst out in laughter and warmly welcome your tea party crasher. You may join us, Daddy, if you put on this crown and offer that sweep I could never turn down. Darn two of them. <clears throat> oh, God, there's a bear! <laughs> <laughs> Probably you. Right? <laughs> On a cool, peaceful night with stars shining bright, we happily joke by campfire light. We s When suddenly, what from the dark sh should appear, but Jackson holding our s'more-making gear. Then Daisy goes to p uh, get more firewood, and Annabelle tells stories that spook us real good. Daddy, you're shaking. Are you a bit scared? 
You can hide inside the tent we prepared. I have to admit, it is scary to see all the camping fun you can have without me. But I'll, I'll always act brave and be there with you. So stories like this one can keep coming true. They keep on hitting me with this without me crap. And it's killing me. All right, a little bit close to me. Light stockings tree. It's hard to believe. But we did it. We're ready for Christmas Eve. Santa's snack is ready and tasty for sure. Annabelle dropped that. Don't worry. There's, there's more. <laughs> Great. But Daisy, are you undecking the tree? Sounds about right. No, just shining those ornaments up perfectly. Nice. But Jackson look looks caught... Jackson looks caught pretty white and red-handed. I'm stuffing the stockings just like we planned it. Of course, Daddy's little helpers will always pull through. Even North Pole elves have nothing on you. You're the best part of Christmas, better than St. Nick's toy sack. Daddy, shh, he's always listening. Relax, he and I go way back. That's right. My middle name is Nicholas, after the good old Saint Nick. If you guys didn't know. <gasps> We're swimming and floating, carefree as can be, till my splashes drench you and your dunking soaks me. We, we rule the pool to keep cool in our mission, and we show off our style with a dive competition. I scored Jackson's jackknife, a perfect 10. Then a belly flop for Annabelle? Let's see that again. Daisy does a pencil. What a skillful display. Before synchronized cannonballs go bombing away. Your wave crashing ways could go on for days. So I head to my towel to soak up some rays. But with you, I'm never too quick to kick back. Daddy surfs up. Incoming splash attack. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Show them all grown up. Eh, 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 eh. Anyway. Damn it. All right. Once upon a time. Well, more like years from now. I can make it through it. I ain't no punk. We'll do this again. It's not hard to see how. Um, what you wear today will long have been outgrown. And you'll have traveled back from wild places still unknown. Your heads will buzz with stories of dreams you've seen come true. But as long as we're together, none of this is new. Because Annabelle, Daisy, and Jackson, to grow and go and dream is all you'll ever do. Besides, well, remembering one old Christopher <laughs> that Daddy will always love you. Big oof. Big oof. Ah, that last one got me. <laughs> oof. You see, 10 out of 10. Would recommend for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I know that like I've seen like advertisements on YouTube for this, like they're customized stories for fathers and all that junk, and like you always see in the vi in the in the videos, the dads reading, they're all like, <laughs> I love it so much, and I was over here like, was I could go through this without crying, and then the end, and I'm like, oh, God, it shows them all growing up. <laughs> But that just shows off a father's true love, especially whenever I'm looking at one who's about to escape his freaking high chair, you little butthole. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Stink. Well, that was an amazing read. Sorry for stumbling over my words. We'll try better next time and all that stuff. But we're going to try and do more Let's Reads later on. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw and you'd like to see more, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Give that bell 
nice little tap on the bottom. Thank you guys so much. And yeah. And I'll see you guys hopefully soon. Bye-bye. Happy Father's Day.